Mortgage loan interest rates continue to creep and creep up. Over the last couple of months, we've seen rates between about six and 7%, and that has had a significant impact on the real estate market. Buyers are really cooling off and hesitant to invest in a home right now with those high interest rates. Thus, anybody who is engaged in a real estate transaction right now, from the buyer, seller, real estate professional, to our mortgage loan brokers are all looking for super creative ways to get a lower mortgage interest rate. One of these strategies that we're seeing as a seller concession to entice buyers to continue to invest in the real estate market is what's called a 2-1 buy down. Now, if you're wondering what that is, me too. So in an effort to learn this 2-1 buy-down, I've asked my friend, Dave Jeltima, who is a former, and still, I guess, family military friend. That's right. A retired Air Force vet, and now working with the Trident Home Loans as a mortgage lender. That's right. Yeah. Thanks, Dave, for coming and helping me out. Absolutely. <laughs> Love to tie the two parts of real estate together, right? So between the lending side and the realtor side. So it's always good to be able to be here and help out. And thanks for the invite. Oh, heck yeah. It's a partnership. We all need each other. All right, Dave. So can you please explain for me what this 2-1 buy-down is all about? Yeah, absolutely. So so there's two types of buy-down, real quick, for, for those out there. There's permanent buy-down and a temporary buy-down. A 2-1 buy-down is a temporary buy-down. Right. So what does that mean? It's for a fixed period of time. It's not through the life of the whole loan. Right? Okay, so, so it's not for 30 years. It's not for 30 years. It's only two. It's only two. So the two of the two one is two years. That's correct. Right. Okay. It's not nothing. So for two years, what am I getting as a buyer? Okay. So as a buyer, it's a great deal. You get a lower interest rate for the first two years of your mortgage. I mean, that's a big deal. I like right it. Right now. I like it a lot. And who's paying that two years from now? No, that's another good question. In a temporary buy-down, the seller has to pay for that. So as a buyer, that's a great deal. As a seller, it's also a great negotiating deal. Especially when the market is changing so much and we're not exactly in a buyer's market. We're not exactly in a seller's market. So we're looking for new ways to entice buyers to still buy at a decently high price. That's right. Okay, so will you give me an example of when a seller might use this as a concession? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the seller concession, you're going to see this in a home negotiation. And what you'll see is that this deal is offered but when the contract is written. And when that's done, the first two years, now so say the, the buyer applies for the loan, they have to apply and qualify on that note rate. What is a note rate? The full interest rate. So Okay, so what will be on year three is what you're talking about. That's right. So the rest of the remainder of the a notional rate of six percent. Okay. Right. So okay. if they qualify for six percent, mm -hmm. that first year's interest rate okay. is gonna be four percent. Okay. So a significant reduction, right? Yeah, it is. That could be six, eight hundred bucks a month. That's real money right now in that first year. That's a big deal. I the next year would be five. You could, yeah, you can, <laughs> and, that, and that goes somewhere, right? Yeah. You know, and, and then the second part of that, right? Okay. That next year, it's reduced by one percent. So remember, six percent, four percent, five percent, and then that third year, the interest rate goes back up to six percent or the full note rate, whatever that buyer qualified for at the time. Okay. So, Kind of a big deal. It's a lot of money in savings. Yes. And here's the other thing. And the last, I think, really important point about this is that the interest rates are high right now. We know that that's not traditional, right? It, we had unprecedented lows with a rapid swing up. Yeah, it was fast. The long term, you know, this program buys time. So hopefully in that time frame, in two years, interest rates will drop. And if it does, you can refinance that mortgage so you're not stuck with a high rate for 30 years. Cool, okay, so when you do that refinance, is there any closing cost with that? There is, okay. there is, but you know, here's the thing with that buy down. That escrow money that the seller paid would go into that refinance. So you're really not paying out of pocket to refinance and it. Into, into. So it doesn't necessarily pay upfront towards interest it stays for the life of It can, unless you close, if you close early to refi, okay. then it will be applied. So it's not money lost ever. 
which is pretty cool. Right? That's really yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Did. All right, so two one by down sounds like a really great concession, something to consider. Can you tell us what the gotchas are? Absolutely. There's a couple of gotchas that folks want to be aware of, right? The, the first gotcha is you're not actually, and it's not a gotcha, it's a misnomer. You have to qualify at the market note rate. Okay, what does that mean? If the market rate is 6% of the loan, mm -hmm. right, 6% loan, you have to qualify at 6%. Mm -hmm. You're not qualifying at the bought down rate. Okay, at the 4% rate, Again, you, that two down. To use the same example, that 6% loan, and you're going four, five, six, you have to qualify at 6% because that is the note rate of the loan for a 30 year mortgage. So in a nutshell, I as a buyer still have to be able to come to the table qualifying for a larger loan amount. That's right. It's the no. It's the normal loan amount is the more accurate okay. thing to say. It's always six percent. Okay. Someone is just buying your rate down for a couple of years. So it's okay. always a six percent loan. Always so six percent. But the seller gets to pay money to you to lower your burden for a couple of years. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, okay, so one of the other things I think you really want to know here, and it's it, you know it goes to that point. It might be a misnomer, okay. right? That people think that this is an arm, an adjustable rate mortgage. It's mm -hmm. not. It's a fixed rate mortgage. It's a thirty-year mortgage. Okay, that makes you feel much more comfortable. Yeah, so <laughs> it's not going to change on you down the road, right? And I think okay. that's a big thing, right? It's people, huge. People yeah. want to make sure that they understand that. And because so, it does sound like an arm, because things change. It does, but okay. it's absolutely not. Okay. And it's bought down for a period of two years. And that's the whole reason we need to apply at the note rate because that is the 30 year mortgage rate. Okay, that's my fix. Yeah, that's good. my fixed rate. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. All right, so you said there were two main gotchas. What's number two? Yeah, so I think the other gotcha right now is that if you're talking to a realtor, <laughs> right, and, and they, they're unfamiliar with it, they, they're probably, if they're good professionals, they know what a 2-1 buy down is. That it is a seller paid concession and it has to be done at the deal in the contract. It's not something you can do after the fact. Okay. Or you have to do that in the negotiation of the property. Up front. Up front. Paid at closing? Paid at closing. Paid at closing by the seller. That's correct. Okay. Right? And so that's, I think, really important for people to understand that it's, uh, it's not something that the buyer can do for themselves. So it's not like I'm buying down my own points because that's kind of how I put it in my head as a buyer. Yeah, that's correct. So a buyer cannot buy a temporary buy down. You could pay points on your own rate reduction as a buyer. That's not this program. That's not what we're talking about here. So it is different. That's where you turn to a lending expert to help kind of navigate that through with you. The two arms of, of real estate, really the realtor and the lender help get you into the home that you want to be in. All right, when we talk about selling real estate, it really is teamwork across the board with so many industries. Thank you, Dave, for being here. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do as a mortgage lender and who you work for? Absolutely. Yeah, so first, thanks, Steph, for having me here. Appreciate it. I love being able to talk this, this business. I'm very passionate about it. So I work for Trident Home Loans. It's a Northwest Florida veteran-owned, veteran-operated business. And, and, and as a mortgage lender for Trident, I'm here to help you know, provide all manner of products to try and help get you into the home of your dreams, right? Licensed here in the, in the great state of Florida, but also licensed around the United States. So it's something that we're, we're passionate about and we, we love doing it. You're good at it. <laughs> you could explain it. <laughs> so you mentioned that you work with veterans, you're a veteran company. Yep. Do you all serve only veterans? That's your primary target audience or do you serve everybody? No, that's a good question. No, we, we are a fully licensed equal housing lender. And I think that's important for people to know. So it's not just veterans. You know, we, we do take care of our own, right, as a, a veteran-owned company. But now we're available to the nation. You know, you, so you apply and you qualify. All right. Dave has always been a wealth of information for me. And I hope he will be for you. We're going to put his contact information in the comments below. If you'd like to get in touch with him, we would love for you to reach out in all the different aspects. So check in the comments. I love it when I get the opportunity to learn something new, especially when it can be taught to me by a friend and then we can turn around and share it with you. If you want to learn some more fun ways to save some money, watch this video on Florida homestead tax exemptions. Jen and I make new videos every Thursday. We'll see you then.